one and all beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back. Another edition of the Average Guys Guide to Life podcast. You know who I am. You know what this is. You know what we're about to get into, bitch. So let's get into it. I uh, <laughs> I feel kind of dumb because on the previous episode, I was talking about the controversial topic of should a body count matter? And I completely forgot to mention one of the primary arguments for it mattering. I forgot. I completely forgot. I woke up this morning and I was like, damn, how the hell did I just completely omit like one of the strongest arguments for people not holding themselves about, you know, not wanting to marry a um, unpaid prostitute. Now, the person who I'm essentially giving a rebuttal to who I don't know personally made the statement um, that led to my entire response. But one of the most ridiculous statements besides the one of um, their geographical area, where they live should determine how many people they fuck. Besides that completely and utterly ridiculous reason they had something else that was kind of ridiculous. Now, like I said, I don't know this person, but let's put a blanket age. Let's put a random age on this person. Let's say this person was 26 years old, okay? And they made the statement that they've been fucking for a decade, okay? A decade, 10 years. They've been out here fucking and sucking and doing the dicks okay do you think now their argument was if i fucked 10 niggas 10 people they didn't have to be black they have to be niggas you know what the hell i mean they fucked 10 individuals man or woman that shouldn't matter because i've been out here fucking for a decade By average, you should fuck more than that. This is this this person's argument. And on paper, that doesn't seem too egregious. I can somewhat come to grips with what they were trying to say. But the argument that I omit yesterday, and I don't want to say omit, I, it just slipped my mind. The, the argument yesterday that I meant to make was a mathematical one. And I know math is boring. No one wants to think about, you know, how many people you fucking can be a mathematical equation. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Um, but sometimes it is. And here's why. Let's take the average man or woman. Let's say they lost their virginity at 16 years old. And this person is now 26. So they've been sexually active for a decade. And let's say theoretically, hypothetically, I should say, this person had, let's say 20, 20 partners, okay? 20 partners in 10 years. Okay. So that's, what, two a year? Now, that doesn't seem too bad, right? That's two a year for 10 years. Okay. But there's a problem with that math. The problem is, Were you ever in a relationship? Or did you just fuck two people a year for 10 years? Okay. Now let's take this made up hypothetical person and say that they were, they were in a relationship 
from the age of 21 to 24. So for three years, let's just say 21 to 25. Okay, so for four years, they were fucking one person. For four years, if they were a good, a good little shit and, and didn't go around doing dicks while they were in a relationship or pounding puss. Okay, so for, for four years, they were in a committed relationship only with one person. Now, for the other 19 people, they are unaccounted for. In that four year period. So that means in the 10 years that they were sexually active, four of those years are designated to one person, and six of those years are now dedicated to 19 people. Now that doesn't seem very flattering. Now that math actually looks much worse when you put it like that. Let's say they were in two relationships because I don't know anyone by the age of 26 that's only been in one relationship. Let's say they've been in two. One relationship lasted four years. One relationship lasted one year. So for five years, two of those people were unaccounted for. But the other five years, 18 are still unaccounted for. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying here? Do you get what I'm saying? Does this make any sense to you? I'm just saying, because that, that argument that the, that person made about the the fucking dumb, dumb, dumb point of your your region, where you live, you know, matters. And that how long you've been sexually active matters. The shit don't matter at the end of the day. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here. You know, beating the shit out of a dead horse. Flies are surrounding the carcass. Um, but at the end of the day, it's your body. Plain and simple. I know someone who just turned 30 years old. Shit you not. They've been alive for three decades and they're still a virgin. By choice. And she's not a uh, ugly woman. She's an attractive woman. And I know her well enough to know that she she has been courted and she has options. She's an attractive lady. But she just chose to keep herself until she found what was right. Might be for personal reasons, might be for religious reasons. And I'm not saying everybody has to go to that fucking extreme to not um, indulge in the pleasures of the body to just save yourself for three decades. No, I mean, that's an extraordinary case. But I am saying that you have control over what the fuck you do. Okay. Like all these people out here with, with kids, happy little accidents, you know, and like to make excuses. Well, you know what the fuck you was doing. Like, come on. Come on. How come some people out here don't have any? Never been married. By choice. And you do. What are you saying? What are you saying? That they didn't have the, the same control? And the same liberties that you have, that you had? Or is that just a character flaw? Is that a sign of weakness? Is there a crack? Is there a crack in the armor there? That's all I'm saying, okay? So let me put that topic away. Let me put that topic away, hide it under the bed until I bring it out next time when someone undoubtedly has something smart to say. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, you could talk shit, talk all that smart shit, but in your heart of hearts, I don't know what the fuck that phrase even means. Who came up with it? I don't know the origin of it, <laughs> but in your heart of hearts, you know that I'm speaking the truth here. That's all I can do. The truth isn't always pretty, people. And sometimes, you know, 
you have to be careful who you tell the truth to as well. But some people can't take that shit. Like they think you're attacking them personally when all you're doing is relaying the facts of a situation. You know, people get in their feelings, they get butt hurt. But they can't be helped. Anyway, on to greener pastures. How the fuck you doing over there? How are you doing? How's your week going? Got that Monday out of the way. If you're a working individual, if not, then whatever. Just another fucking day for you. Laying around in your drawers. Chips and crumbs on your fucking stomach as you lay back watching Netflix like a lazy piece of shit. Probably eating a chocolate pudding cup. Piece of fucking shit. Get up and go do something. Stop being a loser. We don't need more losers in the world. We need more winners. People that work hard, try hard. Try to do shit. But then again... We need people trying to do less shit, too. Know what I'm saying? Some people be trying to do too much. You're doing too much. I had somebody tell me that the other day. I was too much for them. What the fuck does that mean? You know? I mean, I know what a too much person look like. Like, I've seen those too much people. You know? It's like when you post something online... Then somebody like it or comment on it. You know. You got to be aware. You got to beware of your allies sometimes. You know. If your ally is one of those too much people. Then you know. You should delete that post. (laughs) You know. You know when somebody be doing too much. I'm probably doing too much right now. But this person that I was talking to. Literally. This is how my life is. At this point, at this current point, February 2020, okay, this is how my life is. I met this person. We exchanged numbers. And we exchanged maybe eight total text messages. Eight, okay. Normal shit. How you doing? What's going on? Blah, blah. Now... I make the comment because I'm not a narcissist. I poke fun at myself all the time. And I said, hopefully you don't think I look like a foot. Like a human foot, you know. And then she said, why would you say that? And I said, I don't know. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, look up in the mirror and be like, damn, you like a foot. With glasses. Then there was no response, you know. And I'm not the type. I'm not. I'm not a thirsty person. Like I'm not gonna shower your inbox with fucking text messages. I'm gonna wait. Like if you ain't gonna respond, you are gonna leave me on read. Well, then go fuck yourself. But a couple hours passed, and I was bored. I was at work, and I say in the text message, is it bad that I want to go home already? Now, this is about the seventh text message that we have exchanged. This is number seven. Is it is it bad that I want to go home already? A message I sent when I was at work. The eighth was, this ain't it. Dude, you're a little much. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, I mean, that, that really baffled me because I'm, I'm not the type, like, sometimes I feel like I'm not saying enough when I'm talking to a person. Sometimes I feel like, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a balance between giving them too much information and not enough information. So I have that battle going on in my head, whether I share something or I just withhold it. But me being who I am, I'm also very transparent. So if you ask me something, I'm going to relay that to you honestly. And I'll think about the consequences of that later. But up to this point, 
It hadn't even been 24 hours since I knew this person. Not even 24 hours. And our text count was about eight. And not deep, long, vibing texts like you would send to someone that you really connect with. Like general, you know, questions, like interview questions and shit. Just running a mill shit. And maybe I am a little much. I don't know. Maybe in a fucking five word sentence. I can display too much. <laughs> like, you know, how was your day? Nah, get the fuck out of here. That's a little much. Don't don't ask how my day was. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. It's none of your business how my day was. Why do you want to know that? Why the fuck do you want to know that? You know, I think... <laughs> I, I honestly think that that's something with the modern woman. The modern woman is very short tempered. And they're very rude, very rude and sometimes very passive aggressive, condescending. You are condescending. Like if someone compliments you, you think that instantly you think, OK, they must be trying to fuck me. So I am going to ignore this person or be as rude as possible. Or someone could just be saying hello and your instant response is something condescending, patronizing or rude for no reason at all. I think that the age of social media has bred too too many options. You know, I was having a conversation with someone earlier today about how our generation is soft and mushy, like a fucking plate of jello just jello people we're so fucking soft because there's just so many options so entitled because everything is at our fingertips whatever it is you know and i think that women have become very short and very condescending because there's just so many options over social media platforms over the instagrams and the facebook's and the twitters and the snapchats you know, that there's so many men coming from them from all angles, not to mention when they're out in public. So they have so many options. And they've gotten to the point where they're just short with the people, you know, even even people that don't mean them any harm or people that don't have ill will or ill intentions. It's just like, I ah, get the fuck out of my face. What do you want? Enough of you. OK, I get I get that. I get that. It can be overwhelming for women out there. It can be very overwhelming. But here's a little advice. Learn to appreciate what you have while you have it. Because from what I've learned and the research that I've done and the documentaries that I've watched and the interviews that I've listened to, that once your looks go and that attention begins to dwindle and fade away forever, you're going to miss it. You're not going to um, you're not you're not appreciating it while it's happening. And I understand some of it's rude and some of it's uncalled for, you know. People like to think it's, you know, a form of. um misogyny I don't think that at all I think it's biology I think biologically a man is uh, built to hunt and look for his best option his best breeding option but women see it as an attack some of it can be but those are the guys you ignore and even if the guy is uh, approaching you in a way in which He's respectful, but you're just not feeling him. You can still just politely ignore this person. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be rude. You know, I was speaking to someone not too long ago as well when um, we were just having a random conversation. And I was like, you single? And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, for how long? She was like, oh, just since the summer. I was like, OK, what happened? Like, what was he, an asshole? You know? Most guys do turn out to be assholes once you get to know them. 
He's like, yeah, I don't think that's any of your business. Okay. I mean, that's true. It's not any of my business. You don't have to share that with me. That's fine. But you could have gave, you know, a more respectful and, and empathetic response. Instead of put phrasing it that way, if you didn't want to share, you could have been like, ah, it's something I really don't want to talk about. Or, or it doesn't matter. You know, something along those lines. Or you can be like a normal fucking person. And, and just give a general explanation of why the relationship failed. Yeah, it's not like you with the motherfucker. <laughs> like, what does it matter? What does it matter? Anyway, let me stop going on this path. I feel real ranty today. I feel real ranty. I don't know why. I need to hit the reset button, you know. I usually have funny observations. But I haven't been observing much. Just being generally annoyed by everything around me lately. Well, not everything. Not everything. But most things around me. Maybe it's me. Maybe. I I generally have a pleasant demeanor. I'm an optimistic person. I go into work. I speak to everybody. I'm respectful. I say say good morning. I say good night. I say hello. I say thank you, I say please, I say all that bullshit, mostly because I have to, I'm in a work environment, but I'm the same way out in public as well, so I'm not a bitter person, not bitter, you know, bitter people, they, they make my fucking dick itch, don't like bitter people, but, you know, it's just, I'm having one of those weeks where people are out to annoy me. And we're going to have to fight. Like, at the end of the day, you're going to have to shut the fuck up or we're going to fight. You annoying piece of shit. We're going to have to fight. Or maybe I just need to do some mushrooms or start smoking weed or something. I don't know. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for me today. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, it's going to be it for me today. Sorry I wasn't funny. I mean, maybe you thought me rambling on for 20 minutes about the same shit. <laughs> maybe you thought that was funny. I'm, ugh, do I want to go to 30 minutes here? Nah, I don't have anything. I promise the next time we speak, I'm going to have something better. Something more entertaining. Not just something rambling on about, you know, fucking and who you should or should not be fucking. And the sad, sad exploits of my dating life. Because really, who gives a fuck about who I'm dating? Or what the hell? Who, who the fuck I've been talking about? How self-important do I sound? Sitting here spouting about my life to, to people listening. Maybe, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just trying to see if anyone else has similar experiences. That's it. Really, at the end of the day, like, honestly... I'm just trying to see if anyone out there has similar experiences and give you some sort of a mini echo chamber here, you know, not to not to get you caught in an echo chamber because that's bad. But just to let you know, you're not alone in, in the shit that you think in the ways that you feel you're not alone. You're not by yourself. You might be crazy because I am admittedly uh, crazy as fuck, you know, so you might have some, you know. Self searching and discovery to do. Figure out yourself and realize that you're not all well. You're not all there upstairs because I'm a crazy motherfucker. So the way that I think I know is not the normal way to think. Sometimes. Sometimes it's hyper logical. Sometimes it's completely illogical. Whatever. I don't give a shit. You ain't going to do shit about it. All right. Because I'm being super confrontational right now. You understand? Motherfucker. You hear me? All right. Bye.